Oh, there's queen d3. Don't. Uh, uh, just go king g8. King g8. Just check. Okay, here we go. Round number round number three. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna stay solid here. I mean, I assume Benjamin can't make a draw. Yeah, he's gonna take. Okay, we'll play the same line. He won. Okay, I mean. This is all the same thing. I mean, unless Benjamin tends to change the order with some G3, but nothing is going to change here. Benjamin thinking, though. I mean, maybe he thinks he has some other line. Then knight f3, of course, all very standard. C5. Takes queen e7, queen e4, queen c5. I've actually had this line many many times. I had this against Wesley, um, amongst others. Like, I mean, I can play queen c5. I can play bishop f1. It's just a matter of which line I really want to play here. Um, I mean, like... <laughs> so I'll take... Goes queen a4. I mean, this is not particularly exciting. Um, I can play bishop b7 here. I can also trade. I mean, like, it's all very equal. So let's just take, I guess. Play knight c6, and I mean, I can offer a draw, right? Yeah, I can offer a draw here. I think I'll just offer a draw. Yeah, I mean, it's a dead draw. We we had this literally yesterday in Arena Kings. I mean, the thing is we're up by two. That's why that's why I figure if it's even, maybe I gamble. This time I gamble, play something else. But with us up by two, I don't see any reason to gamble here. I think it's just a bad decision to gamble. It's like king e2, there's knight e5, there's rook c8. As you guys can see from the bar, this just flattens into flat zeros. So let's watch the other games. That's what it is. That's how it goes. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Okay. There we go. That's what it is. It is what it is, you guys. I thought Benjamin would have to try because they're down by two. That was my assumption. If they're, down, if they're down by two, I thought they have to go for broke. So, I don't know. I'm a little surprised. A little bit surprised. But it is what it is, you know. It's just how it goes. So, yeah. Just, just, just life. Just life. So, big shout out to nearly 5,000 of you guys who are watching on this fine Thursday afternoon. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Uh, we have a bunch of games, so let me pull up all the windows. Um, yeah. Okay, let's pull up the other windows. Yeah, let's pull this up. There should be three other games, right? So, let's watch the other games. Let's see what's happening. Um, we have Vokidov on board three, and then we have board four. Uh, board four hasn't started yet. I'm out today. Well, it's it's not that I'm out. It's that it was black against. If Benjamin played a different opening, I would have gone for it. But he he was happy with the draw, even though the team is down two points. I just assumed Benjamin would try to beat me. I really did. Um, but we're up by two points, so I don't see why I should why it's my responsibility to go for broke. So if Vokadov beats Alice Lee, we're gonna we're probably gonna win the match. Yeah. May 11th, 2023, the return of Drakmur. I mean, first game was bad. Second game, my chances. This game with black pieces, I'm not going to be unhappy about. Um, so it's just, it's just how it goes, honestly. Just how it goes. But it's life. Okay, as game four started, it hasn't, but here we go. All right. So, okay, Fabiano is white piece. We'll look at it from Fedo's side point of view, of course. Okay, Alice Lee playing um, this is normal, this is normal, uh, normal Petrov. Theodore was playing as Normanova. This is a dangerous, this is a dangerous pairing. If Normanova can draw this game, we will probably win the match. Let me mute this. Yeah, because the way I'm looking, I'm looking at a three-game match. I assume Vokadov's gonna win this game. 
I assume Fedo save is gonna hold and I assume that we'll probably lose on board four I mean I if I'm wrong I'm wrong but with black pieces up by two it's not on me it's not it's not on me to go for broke that's the point it's on it, like it, it, it's on Benjamin with his team down to try and win with the white pieces game one doesn't make sense game one of course I mean yeah, I'm not happy with game one but I think in this case if we were down in the match if the match was even already down I would have played a King's Indian or something like that um in, in this match but we're, if we're up by two there's no point to take a chance um that's the bottom line there's just there's no good reason to gamble in game number one no good or game number three no reason to gamble here um especially with us, us up by two I mean I assume Vokadov's gonna gonna crush Alice with the white pieces yeah but we'll see maybe I'm wrong I mean the only game I can really be unhappy with so far is round one yeah yeah it just depends on this this round though also Alice Lee playing all this Petra stuff I'm gonna give you guys a hot take but I think Alice Lee's rating I think trying to play like trying to play rock solid and draw every game with black is not the right approach um so I know it's gonna be a hot take but I think whoever's teaching her the Petrov is actually it's not it's not a good decision because the level she's at drawing games is not going to get you to the top with the black because you really want to be aggressive and try to win every game with both colors so um I actually think that from Alice Lee's standpoint whoever's telling her to play this Petrov and try to draw every game and be a rock be rock solid with black pieces it's actually a bit of a mistake in my opinion to try and play like that um I think at like 25 50 2600 it's a very good idea but I think at like 2400 ish it's not actually a great idea to try and draw draw with black I think you got to like try to be a shark you got to try to win every game so I mean that might be a hot take but I actually think that I actually think uh strategically in terms of like trying to improve and get to the top it's not a great decision okay pretty normal position in her game Normanova not great I mean Fedo saves game versus uh versus um versus Fabian is obviously the game that matters the most nope no no pep talk no I mean this is really the critical game if if Fedoseyev uh wins this game I think we win the match like I'd say 90 percent chance we win the match if Fedo wins this I get Fedo's idea too he wants to go e4 and d5 go bishop b8 and just crush Fabian on both of these diagonals with the queen like something like just to illustrate the point something like this and you'll look at these these great um these great ops just aiming towards the king this is what Fedosev is aiming for 100 uh, percent I I think Benjamin made a mistake trying to make a draw but Benjamin probably doesn't have a specific way of trying to play for more which is why he didn't gamble um okay let's see so Vokadov's game this is probably the most critical game by the way um the game between Vokadov and Alice Lee please draw Fabiano Twitch Andy's are gonna go crazy oh you mean four draws they're gonna be like draw 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 I like the choice from Vokadov by the way here he's got the great dark square Bishop when was I last 2400 I was 2400 about like I don't know 20 22 years ago 21 years ago yeah yeah I mean I think Benjamin made a mistake there I do I think Benjamin should have gone for it I guess he's assuming that Alice is not going to lose and Fabiano will win but I think it was a mistake I think I think it was a mistake by um I think it was a big mistake by Benjamin here okay so let's see what Vokadov's idea is because this looks like some kind of prep yeah last game is Fabi yeah I play Fabi on the last round but you know if Nurmanova holds her game I think we're in great shape um I like her position by the way with rookie one here just Bishop d3 I mean she's marginally worse here but I think it's actually quite decent Fabiano's game is also very critical by the way this is a very critical game okay let's see what do we have Fabiano trades D takes E5 probably to open up the diagonal no more draws I mean it really depends on the last round what we get that's that's what it comes down to yeah Bishop B8 and E4 should be incoming pretty soon maybe Bishop B8 and then E4 yeah now of course B4 a little bit loose E4 I really like Fedosev's position yeah yeah Oh, it's 2494 in July of 2002, so 21 years ago. Yeah. That's the last time I was under 2500. Okay, that's pretty insane. Yeah. 
21 long years ago, you guys. Yeah. Yep. Long, long time ago. Yeah. Long, long time ago. So, yep. Yeah, it's eons ago. Eons. Eons upon eons. Yeah. But, yeah. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Where were we? So, yeah. So, this is, of course, the biggest game of the day that really matters right here. No, I drew against Alice Lee. I drew the first game. I've drawn every game so far. Feto is doing very well, by the way. Why is this tournament schedule so ridiculous? Well, that's the other thing is I, I, I do feel like, I mean, I played, I played, we played all the matches like two months ago. It's just kind of weird to suddenly be playing again after such a long break. All the teammates are going for draws. Well, I mean, first game, I should have tried harder to win probably, or I should have picked a different opening choice. Didn't work out. Second game, I had chances. I didn't convert and win the game. That's fine. And Benjamin here due to this team down too is happy to make a draw against with the white pieces. So I'm skeptical. The chat should be on a delay as well, unless I'm crazy. Because the chat should, you should be getting my stream one minute late. So the chat should be one minute late too. I could be wrong on that, but I think so. So, yeah. Probably knight d5, a b4. I don't think e4 is moved. Maybe bishop e6, maybe bishop c7. And he plays knight d5. I have the white piece against Fabiano, which is good, because that means I can dictate the sort of game I want to play. But we'll see. Yeah. So, we'll see. Me with your best shot. Fire away. So. All right. Anyway, where were we? So waiting for waiting for some um, yeah, waiting for some moves here. It yeah, takes takes. I don't like what Feto Save did here. There's 94 now. Uh, I don't know if I like this trade. Maybe just Bishop C7 and bring the rooks to center, but uh. I don't like I don't like what Fedo Save is doing here. I'm gonna be honest, I just don't like it. Maybe it's okay, but I'm not thrilled. Yeah, I'm reading I'm reading a uh, kick chat. Kick chat. Why why would I be reading Twitch chat? I'm not streaming on Twitch. Is Levy the Gotham Ma Knights manager or coach? I mean, I guess technically he's the manager of the team, but Ostrovsky is the one making all the uh, decisions. So, um, yeah. Oh, let's take a look at the other games. Vokidov, I like Vokidov's position. Vokidov, very obvious idea here. Wants to go Bishop H4 and G4. He wants to put the Bishop on F6. Maybe there's a lolly mate. Maybe there's also just G4. This actually looks really scary for Alice Lee here. I think I think Vokadov's gonna win this game. I really like his position. He has a very simple idea. He just wants to go like here, here, and then he wants to go here, here, and then he wants to go Queen H4, and then then like um and then just G4 and just end the game on the spot. This is what he wants. He wants his bishop great tower on F6 here. Nermanova is holding. Okay, let's see. Nermanova. Whoa. That's a bold move by Fabiano, I think. I think it's bold. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Wait, what is this idea? I mean, I, I don't, I'm a little confused. But anyway, okay. Let's see. Norman Ovi, you said she's holding. Is she holding Queen G4? Oh, is there? Is this not a draw? This looks like a draw, right? You can also check. Check. I mean, maybe it's a draw. Maybe it's not. It's very hard to judge. Yeah, I think that's a draw. But I mean, it, will she actually take and draw? Hard to judge. Hard to judge. I, I think I think I think that uh, from a practical standpoint, Theodore has to move the queen to f6 or f5 or f4. I think trying to take the pawn. It's because it, if he's wrong, he does it. Okay. I mean, it's, I mean, it's such a long line. Will she actually find it? I mean, yeah, we're up by two points right now. So we're in, we're in very good shape. Um, 
Oh, by the way, did Vokadov get his bishop? He did. He got the bishop in. Yeah, Vogadov's gonna crush Alice Lee in this position. It's bishop f6, queen h4, and g4. I think only now is she realizing too. I think now she realizes, yeah. So Vogadov's gonna win this game. Yeah, bishop f6, or even g4. Like, yeah, just nice. G4 and yeah, Vogadov with a clean smash here. And there's also no counterplay, just G4. Okay, good. So we're gonna be up by three temporarily. So everything is gonna hinge on this Fabiano game. Everything hinges on this Fabiano game. If Fedo Save does not lose this game, we're gonna have a very good, we're gonna have at least a two point lead going to the final match. Cause Vogadov is about to win this game. Yeah. Yeah, Vogadov beat Fabiano too, right? So he's he's doing well. No, we're one minute behind because there's a delay, you guys. We, we have to stream with a delay. That, those are the rules, plain and simple. That's all there is to it. Yeah, I mean, G4 just wins here, by the way. G4, even F, I mean, F5, and then you get the lolly with queen up four. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolute disaster here. Absolute disaster. Did he play it? Or wait, what happened? No more moves? Let me refresh. Yeah, he did play G4. Excellent move by Vokadov. So yeah, it's all going to come down to Fabiano. Can Fabiano, can, can we hold on these two boards? Was Rook G5 played, by the way, or not? Let's refresh this board, too. Did she play takes? Yeah. No, Vokadov's just crushing here. Um, Yeah, he's going to win this game. Fabiano, I mean, like I said, this is the big game. This is the game of the day. Fedo save down on clock, though, which is not good here. Hard to judge. Hard to judge. Yeah, people are acting all weird about this. Like, it's something. Like, Fabiano? Like, why are you guys acting weird? Are you guys from St. Louis or something? Like, seriously. People do realize that nobody is playing on the St. Louis team other than Bakken. You do realize Fabiano and Alice Lee don't actually live in St. Louis, right? So I don't know why you're acting all weird about it. Like some kind of tribal thing. Like, seriously, chill. Like, why are you guys, why are you guys acting weird? Knight b6 looks like a good move to hit the knight and hit the queen. Like, knight b6, queen c2, rook a7, or rook c7. Yeah, why is everyone acting all weird? Like, seriously. Yeah, he finds knight b6. Excellent move here played by Fedosev. I like it. Just weird. You guys are just weird. Strange. Strange stuff. Oh, I'm still waiting for a move. Okay, Vokadov. Has he made a move? Let me refresh. F5 played. I don't know why it's... Actually, why is it not updating? Is it just lagging? Oh, she plays it. Oh my gosh, she plays it. Wow. Wowie yowie. Okay, Wow. She's on fire. You know what's also great about this position after Nicholas Theodoro captures is that when we get to this end game position, I'm um, not Queen Sun, of course, when we get to this end game position, she doesn't have moves. So like this is not hard to spot. I mean or actually, sorry, queen c8, king... Wait, what? Oh, because you can just take and check this way, too. Actually, yeah. 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 No, it's actually very easy for her to spot. It's not hard because she has four minutes, so, like, all the moves are pretty obvious. Yeah. Okay, what's going on? Vokadov's still playing. She finds f4. Yeah, I mean, it's just over. Yeah, she, 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 he's just getting a queen. So this is over. So Vokadov wins. This means we're up by three, I think, in a second. What's going on Fabiano's game? Fabiano does not have anything special here. Yeah, just queen h4 and queen takes f4. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Maybe just queen g4. Yeah, just queen g4, trade off, king g3. I mean, yeah, nice. Very nice. Very nice. Is there B th oh, B3 maybe? And then check? I mean, Norma Nova, if she draws this game, I, th I think there's almost no chance that we don't win this match, by the way.
There's Bishop A4 logical trade. Federal safe still a little bit worse here, just a little bit worse. Um, it's just a touch worse, but still not simple, not simple at, at all. We get H3, probably like H6 here. Something simple here. Something simple. That's what I expect. At least that's my assumption. So probably H6, come on. Vladimir is just getting too low on time here. You just got to move quicker. Okay, so so Vogadov once we're up by three, get Rook G two. Like Rook F eight is the obvious move to play Rook F one, but then you have B three and Queen A one, with a classic big right triangle, and you you win the game. So I think we're in good shape. If Normanova holds this game, I think I think we win them. We win. But it's gonna come down to let's see Bishop D one Knight A four. Good move played by uh, Vladimir. Bishop c1 there's also bishop a7 suddenly oh yeah bishop c1 bishop a7 and suddenly white's in a lot of trouble here because suddenly your queen is like all iffy all the squares are covered okay come on let's go vlad fabiano does not want to take the knight here i can assure you of that he does not want to take this knight but he might have to although bishop a7 come on bishop a7 yeah bishop a7 here come on vlad bishop a7 yes let's go let's go vlad let's go vladdy No, I mean, I think, I think, I think we're gonna win the match here. I think Fedosev is gonna win this game. By the way, this is an absolute disaster here for Fedocini. He This is an absolute disaster. Queen c1 takes takes like knight c5. Even this, there's no way that Fedosev loses. No way that Fedosev loses this position. No chance. No chance that he loses. I don't want to jinx him, but there's no chance he loses. So let's see. Normanova finds b3. Excellent move. Um. Yeah, this is this is good good stuff. Yeah, if Fedosev wins this game, we are going to, um, I'm, I mean, if Fedosev wins this game, I don't see how we don't win everything. Because we're up by three right now, right? If Fedosev wins and Nermanova draws, do we win the match right here? We're up by three, right? If, 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 if Fedosev wins and Nermanova draws, we don't even play round four, right? Yeah, this has all gone wrong. This has all gone wrong for Fabiano. Yeah. Yeah, just take and play knight c5. Just knight c5, knight e3, knight e6. I mean, there's just, this is just a great, great, great position. Knight d3, knight e6, knight f4. I mean, Fabiano is almost certainly going to lose this position. Very, very hard to play. There's queen g5, knight e6, knight e3, knight b3. Yeah, I think this is probably close to over. It's okay, Fabiano might win in GCT, Romania, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna be up four points. Um, yeah, I think 96 here, 94. Just 96 and 96 and 94, knight of four, knight g5. Here, takes knight g5, also just wins the game on the spot. Come on, 96, Fedosev. <gasps> I don't like that. I don't like that move, actually. It's good, but I don't like it. I guess he just wants to go 94 and lock it down to where he can't ever lose. I think 96 was GG because of knight f4. Maybe bishop d4 here to trade off. Actually, bishop d4 is still very good. Yeah, come on. Come on, bishop d4, dude. Bishop d4, come on. It's getting low on time. Come on. Or queen g5. Maybe queen g5 also good too. Nice. Good move. No, but I mean, I think there's no way, because if, if, if we get the best computer line, which is this, you have this great pony, like even this position, weak pawns, jumbo pony, bash in the center, this is just over too. So yeah, we're, we're gonna win here. This is good times. Big Fish is the MVP. Well, him and Bokadov both. They both won the last two games, right? They could put a 4-0 on you. No, but if we win this game and Nermanova draws, the match is over, we're up by four and a half. So we're up by two points right now. Knight d4, excellente. And just like queen g5 and queen f4, or queen h4 even. Yeah, queen h4, come on. What? Queen takes eight. Are you kidding me? Wait, what? 
Rook c8? Rook c8. Come on, Rook c8. No, but then Rook a4. Oh, no. Just move the king and move the queen. Come on, Vlad. Just move the king. Move the king. Just move your king and get the queen over. Good. He messed this up, but he's still fine. Queen f6. Oh, no. Now there's f5. Oh, no. He messed this all up. Queen h4. Take. Queen e4. Queen e4. Move. Come on. Check. Knight f3. Check. Knight g5. Knight g5. Knight g5. Oh, no. What was knight e1? Knight g5 was gg. Don't trade the queens. Queen c2. Oh, no. I mean... Take the bishop. King g8. Or check. Okay. King g8. <gasps> oh, there's queen d3. Don't... Just go king g8. King g8. Just check. Good. Oh, oh my god. Queen c6. Okay, now it should be a draw. Queen b2 or queen a2 maybe? Yeah, just make the draw, dude. Just make the draw. Just... It's okay, though. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, he can't lose now, because now the pawn is guarded. The pawn, pawn is a weakness on h4. Good. Oh, my God. That was so scary. What happened in this game, by the way? Let's refresh this. I don't believe this. Okay. I don't believe this. Did we really just throw this? I mean, that was so... I jinxed him, I guess. Yeah, you just pushed the A pawn. No, I just mean there was no way to lose this position. I mean, basically, you just make sure that you lock it up. Like, I don't know what was queen c7. Just queen g5 or queen h4. I mean, this was just insane. I mean, just ridiculous. And he loses, right? Yeah, he just loses. Yeah, he just loses. Okay, now it comes down to this game. We're only up by two. Come on, Nermanova, move. Just play queen d2. Let's refresh this board. I mean, this will be really tragic. King h1, move. King h1. Keep going, just king h1. King h1. King h1. I mean, come on. Just rook g2. Rook g2. Rook g3. Just check and check. Trade. Or queen c7 maybe? Okay. Rook f3 or rook g2. Both work. Good. Takes. Rook c Move. Rook f2. Check. Come on. Check. Rook c2. Good. King, F King g3. King f4 next move. King g3. King f4. Check and take. Just, just make the draw. Just make the draw. Yeah, just rook, rook b6. Make the draw. Good. Good. Takes and king g3. Good. Oof. Yeah, check. And check. Just check. Check again. Come on. What is rook d3? Oh my god. Is she going to throw this? Just king g4. Or king h5. Come on. Not king h5 because of a4. Rook f3. Rook f3. Good. I mean, even rook f6. Just make sure you get the h pawn. This is still a draw after taking. But king g5 is better. Rook f5. Okay, just take the pawn. Rook f5. Come on. Move the rook to b5. 
Good. She's going to draw. Good. Good. Just take the pawn. I mean, I can live with this because Fedoseev should never have lost, but Nurmanova probably should have lost if Fe should have lost this game. Yeah. Or G5. Yeah. Ooh, drawn game. Yeah, so we're still up by two. I mean, I, like, honestly, I thought that Fedosev would draw and Nurmanova would lose. So it, it, the score is completely fine. Yeah. Still up by two as we go into the final round. Un insane. But I'm going to take a break. Go go splash water on my face. And we'll start the final round. Doom, 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 doom. Okay, we got white. I'll play E4 here. Probably he'll play Sicilian, I assume. Yeah, he'll play Sicilian. Let's play Knight F3. Uh, will Fabian play D6 or he's gonna play the Night Orf? Interesting. I'll play the open. I can also just play. Whoops. I can also go check. Okay, let's just play. Bishop A4. I'm gonna castle and play Rook E1 and D4. Castles and rookie one next move, all very standard. Plays a6. I believe c4 is still completely fine here. I can also play d3. I can also play c c4. Um, question of which one I want to play. It's d3 or c4. Those are the two moves that I have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play c4 here. You can take. You can play e5. I mean, this is all this is all fairly known at this point. This was not known back in the old days. Actually, this was a very unknown variation. Plays e6. Now, rookie one and knight c3 both playable. I'm just going to go knight c3 here. Should probably play d4 somewhere in here. Um, I can also play d3, but I, I I think d4 is considered to be correct. I take, and then I play, like, bishop b3 somewhere. That's the only one drawback is that the knight placement is not ideal. Or the bishop placement. If the bishop was on e2, this would be the dream. But nonetheless, this still is pretty good. I go queen e2, guard the pawn, and play bishop to e3 here, and then bishop b3. Fabiano thinking, okay, so I go bishop e3. Knight e5, bishop b3 is fine. There you go here. Pretty standard. See what he's going to do. He's thinking for a bit here. This bishop d7. Right, so on bishop d7, I'm trying to remember how this line goes. I know there's an f4 move somewhere in here. I'm trying to remember exactly what the right order is for this. Um, I mean, I can play knight f3 to trade the knights, of course, which is completely fine. It's not really what I want to do. It's also bishop g5. I'm trying to remember exactly what the right order for this is. I mean, I could also play f4, but f4 and g4 doesn't look quite right. I feel like I did something wrong. I feel like I did something wrong in this opening again. A sigh. Oh, if I play rook h, rook c1, rook c8, and then just like... Rook fd1. Is there something terribly wrong with that? Or f3? I mean, I think I can play F3. I'm going to go Rook C1 here. I think F3, Knight C4, takes, takes, Knight D5 is fine. So I'm going to play F3. Takes, takes, takes. I have Knight D5 and Knight D7, which is fine. I'm just creating the chain of pawns. I might go knight b1 here. I don't even know if it's... It doesn't look right somehow. But I think it's fine. I'm just going to play it. It's not the right move, but it's... I'm just going to play solid here. And now the pawn on e4 is guarded as well. So it goes queen b8, logical. I can play rook fd1. I can also play like knight d2. I mean, I can go knight c3 back, of course, which would be kind of funny. Um, Think about how I want to play this. Knight d2 seems reasonable. Knight a3 doesn't look right. I'm just going to go rook c2.
Maybe just work C1 next move even. I mean, he has B5 here, but I can always just trade. I have a feeling knight d2 is actually a better move. Now he goes bishop d8. Don't love this position. Let's go here, sidestep some tricks. Probably gonna play bishop g1 somewhere in here if I can. Because d5, I can always take and just go f4, e5. That's that's the whole point. So he goes knight g6, logical move. Very reasonable. He's looking to play d5 somewhere in here. If I play queen d2, still looks completely fine. Because d5, I just trade everything. He's going to go like bishop c7, bishop g1. And the show goes on, basically. At some point, I probably need to do something on the queen side, though. I just realized. I don't really like my position objectively, but okay, let's go here. His bishop on d7 also kind of misplaced a little bit. The bishop should not be on d7 here. It's like we, we both have pieces that are completely misplaced. Let's go knight c3. If b5, I'll take and put the other knight on e2. Probably I go like rook d1. I mean, I'd love to push some pawns on the queen side eventually. Maybe I can move the knights. Okay, it does play b5, which I'm actually kind of surprised by. Um, not because it's a bad move, but because it's very, very committal. Um... Yeah, it's extremely committal. I'm very surprised by this move from Fabiano. I thought it would wait more before going for it. Okay, so I'll take and play a4 here, which actually looks quite attractive. Again, see, I don't need to win this game. So because I don't need to win this game, I should try to play much more on the safer side. So if I go a4, takes, 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 takes. 95, I mean, yeah, it just looks correct. I want to make sure a4, d5, knight takes... I mean, this just looks good. Yeah, this just looks good. Should probably use a little bit more time. I think I'm still moving a little bit too fast, but I think this is good. It, this isn't necessarily the best way to play the position, but it's more that I'm just trying to simplify everything and make a draw. Or not make a draw, but take more pieces off the board. And if it's not enough, it's not enough. Now, it goes d5 here. Oh, did I just blunder this? Oh, shoot. I think I did. Did I have queen c3, maybe? Oh, yeah, yeah. This... Oh, yeah, yeah. This was a mistake by me. I didn't intend to do that. Um, oh, this is just great. I missed d5 altogether. Probably just take and play queen e1, though. <sighs> so stupid. Not using my time correctly here. Take, take, knight six, takes, takes, rook d5. Takes, takes, knight c6, queen b7, e d5. Knight d5, knight d5, rook d5, queen b4. That should be good enough. 5, e d5, knight d4. I mean, that looks fine. Yeah, I don't know. This looks fine to me. I'm just going to take with the pawn. Rook holds the queen. A little bit shaky, kind of, but should be okay. I mean, I really have one goal in mind, which is draw the game. If I take, of course. Of course, I blundered knight f4 naturally. But I do have bishop d4 or something. I also have queen d4 and queen a7, or queen a4. I also have knight a5 moves. Okay, so he takes. 
course I take. So like I have queen b4, I also have queen c3. Queen b4 looks like the best way to make a draw objectively, but queen c3 is also not bad. No, I think I should play for the draw. Yeah, queen b4 should be correct. I mean, I'm marginally worse than the outside pawn that's weaker. His structure is more compact. But again, as a, as a top player, I should be able to draw this. And if I can't draw this endgame, that's that's my own fault. If it was rook b5. Wait, do I have queen a4 here? Queen a4, rook a8, queen c4 or something? I feel like there's some tricks here. Wait a second. Go here. Wait, rook b2, knight, knight b... Wait a second. I think this is okay. Trying to come up with some tricks here. Goes rook a8, I expect that. But now can't I go queen e4? Oh, maybe I had knight a7 too. Actually, did I have knight a7 there? Oh, I think I had knight a7. Oh no, I missed 97, which might have been good. I don't know, maybe it wasn't good. It's hard and hard to know, but I feel like I might have missed 97 there. <sighs> it goes bishop d6 now. I mean, I can play b4. I can play rook d1 as well. I can also just go bishop d4. Again, if, I feel like I should have something here. It just feels like it somehow. Maybe just I'll go bishop d4. I don't want to blunder something either. So let's go here. Just guard the pawn against any tricks. I'm going to go bishop c3 and probably knight d4 somewhere. Again, bishop d4 feels a little bit loose somehow, though. Let's play like... C1, just overprotect. I mean, I feel like I'm, I'm, don't feel like I'm playing this very well. I'm gonna be honest. H6, I expected that. I mean, I can go Bishop C3 back. I can also just play like Queen E2, maybe. The Knight of Four, Queen E4. Yeah, I'm definitely not playing this the way that I want to play. This is not my kind of a game. But that being said. Yeah, that being said, I mean, I should be able to draw this. This would have been better if I could have the rook, like, on e2. Like, I'm going to go knight d4, trade the queens. I mean, I'm slightly worse, but I should be able to draw without too much difficulty. C8. Reasonable. Okay, knight d4. Do I move the bishop to like. Do I have a bishop trick here? I don't see it, so I'm just gonna play here. Trade, we trade. Yeah, we're just rookie one. Okay, it goes there. Okay, now the question is how do I draw this? I think bishop e1 looks right. Or maybe not. Okay, let's just go. Maybe just g3, simple chess. Oh, I missed rook c4. Oh, I have b3, maybe? Yeah, I'm playing this a little bit sketchy. It's a little bit sketchy the way I've played this. It's still okay, but it's not the dream. Okay, I'll go knight f3 here. Obviously. Yeah, now, now I think I'm pretty safe. Now it should be pretty simple. I have bishop d4, trade the rooks, and just draw the game and get out of town. But again, it's not over yet. I'm trying to think what the perfect setup is here. There's rook d8. Logical. I'll just bring my king closer. Yeah, now I, now I should be fine. I, I really should not be able to lose this. And if I can ever push the pawn, maybe there's like some knight d4 trick down the road. I, again... 
Realistically, I should never really lose this position. And the time also is kind of evening out. It goes bishop b4 to trade the bishops. Of course, I don't want to trade the bishops. I'll play bishop d4. Yeah, Fabiano's misplayed this. He's still, I mean, he's, he's not worse, but it's going to be very hard for him to even create winning chances now. Whereas I think a few moves ago, he was probably clearly better. Okay, I can play rook c7. And yeah, now, now I mean, it's, it's already... I mean, it's not bad, but it's starting to kind of go in the wrong direction, too. There's, like, bishop a7 and bishop c5, even. There's also knight e5. Yeah, actually, this is getting kind of scary, I think, for Fabiano. Uh, this is this is not trivial anymore. It goes rook b5. Actually, that's a good move. I didn't see that. Um, rook a7. I don't want to do it. I feel like there's something here that I'm missing. I don't see it right off. Maybe just rook c4. Bishop d6, rook a7. I'm holding everything. Bishop a5, rook a7, rook e7. I mean, I think I might get winning chances here too. Legitimately think I have winning chances potentially. Okay, knight g6, I expected that. Um, bump bum. Bishop c3 is enough to draw. For a way to win. I'm trying to see if I can get more here, maybe. Like, maybe just... Like maybe I just drop back. Wait, why did I do that? I missed 95, which was also completely fine, but he doesn't play it, luckily. Um... Okay, what's his idea? I don't see his idea, so I'm just going to play rook a4. He can sack here, and he very well might sack the rook. But again, it's like... There really should be no chance of losing. Oh, I could have played rook d7 too. Why didn't I go... Yeah, rook d7. Why didn't I play that? Stupid. Goes knight e5 here. Now, it gives me knight d4. There's also rook a6, maybe? Wait a second. There might be rook a6 here. I'm starting to look... I'm starting to feel, look for more, actually, if that makes any sense. I'm starting to look for more than just a draw. Obviously, I can trade everything down and play rook a8 and draw the game. But it's not what I... I feel like there should be something like rook a6, maybe knight c4, knight d4, or something. I get what Fabian is trying to do. He's trying to tr he's trying to coerce me into like going for more. I totally get what he's doing. I can also just play knight. Oh wait, no. Oh, if I play rook knight d4, he's gonna sack. If I go rook a8, what's the big deal? Yeah, what's the big deal? Yeah, what's the big deal? Because now there's never gonna be a sack, and I mean now I just draw the game easily. Yeah, yeah. I just have to avoid letting Fabiano get something that I don't want. I can also go rook a5 here. I mean, I can trade everything, of course. If I go rook a6, knight c4, rook c6. I mean, again, he's trying to create something that I don't want. If I play rook a5, he has to trade. Yeah, I mean, I think this is the cleanest way. Yeah, this is the cleanest way to force pieces off the board. Yeah, and now, I mean, now there's no way I lose. And if the rest of my team doesn't do their job, they don't do their job. But, I mean, I've, I'm probably better here due to the pawn, actually. So, yeah, okay, this is good. Good stuff. So, I should not lose here. So, if I draw this game, we'll be looking pretty good. Hopefully the team holds up, but I, I think at least here I'm looking pretty good. Um, let's just go back, I guess. Knight c5, knight d2, of course, or e5, doesn't matter. Um, let's take. I mean, obviously this is a draw. Knight h4, have knight d4, maybe. Let's just go knight d4. Yeah, I don't particularly care how I draw this end game as long as I draw. Now, f4 allows knight f5, too. I mean, f4, I can meet. If I really wanted to play for a win, I could also go g4. But there's no need for it. 
Even 91 there was maybe... Ah, 91 was maybe better. Why didn't I play 91? Anyway. Okay, if I go knight c6... I mean, do I play g4 and try to win is also a big question. Because I can go g4. I can also go knight f5. I mean... But against a player of Fabiano's caliber, why do I suddenly want to start losing my mind? Yeah, that, that's just insane. I, I don't want to lose my mind. So, if I don't want to lose my mind... The obvious move to play is knight to e6. Or takes. I mean, okay, all roads lead to Rome. What do I want to do? Let's go here. Okay, I mean, I guess I just take. Yeah, I mean, it's just a draw. Takes. King f3, king e4, no point. He can play knight f4 and draw, but... I mean, maybe bishop f4. He takes with a pawn. Okay, now I think just king f3. And king e4 and no chances. Just shut it down. Again, trying to get me to play king d5 here and go for more, but you know what? Good sir, I don't really feel like playing chess today. I feel like being Anish Giri. I mean, maybe I should open the maybe I should open the events page and see what's happening in other games. Like, am I gonna regret it somehow? But it's still, I mean, still, uh, yeah, whatever. Let's just go here and make the draw. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's knight h3, but then king g4. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's let's see. Let's see how it's working out. Hopefully, it's good. Yeah. I mean, I can maybe play for more here with um. With king e4 and king d5 but again why do i want to do this i, I don't want to do it yeah so alice lee is winning but the other boards are draws okay let's pull it up chess.com events yeah i mean basically my assumption th those of you guys who are wondering is that um my assumption is that we're not going to lose on the other boards uh-oh 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 it's not looking great though is it shoot we're gonna lose here oh crud okay vokidov is gonna draw his game okay so it's gonna Ooh, this is gonna be spicy it's gonna come down to box game yeah uh, i don't know Queen g4, it'll be a draw. Yeah, okay, so this is going to be a draw, so let's go back. It's going to come down to Benjamin's game, so I'll leave this up. Let me change the scene, of course, and um, where's where's OBS? There it is. Um, events. There we go. All right, I'm going to use the restroom. We'll be right back. All right, you guys. What do we have? Come on, photo save. Hang on, hang in there, dude. Rook D1. Okay, Bishop takes H7 is apparently a draw. He finds it. Yes. Check. Okay, draw. Okay, so photo save holds the draw. Very important that he holds this draw. Okay, game drawn. So we're still up by two. Um, we're up by two. Let's see what's going on. We're up by two. Round zero four. Let's see. We're up by two. Wait, this is round three. Round four. Three draws. We win. We win. Fedo save holds the draw. Nicholas Theodoro draws his game. We win. Yes. There we go. We win the match. We win the match. Uh, no tie breaks, you guys. It's all over. Um, and with that, we do end up winning our match. And we move forward. Eight and a half, seven and a half. Very tense match here. I mean, and but we do get it done. Three draws. Many stars in this event. Um... The stars in this event, obviously, were um, Vladimir Fedosey. I mean, everybody was a star in this event, except for yours truly. Um, Normanova, she held some impressive draws against Mr. Benjamin Bach and against Nicholas Theodoru. Um, she held two great draws against those two players. She loses to Alice Lee, but those two draws were critical. Big Fish won against... Um, won some games Vokidov won a critical game against Fettuccini Carbonara and we do get the big dub eight and a half seven and a half now I don't know what that means but um yeah we keep going so